Hello guys and welcome in this new video in the game engine series. Hope you guys are doing good. It's been a while I haven't uploaded a video in this series and um, yeah, it's it, it has been kind of hard for me to do that. But um, I haven't given up, I haven't stopped working on the engine. I've been adding some new features and that's actually why I'm uploading this video to share those new features with you so you guys can actually know what's going on and also um, yeah so you guys can know what I'm facing as struggle or anything like that so without further ado let's get started now the first thing I want to share with you in this video is the hierarchy panel now you can see here we actually have a hierarchy and this hierarchy is not just visual but it's actually something working behind the scene so if I pick for example this scene entity and I move it you will see everything will move with it so all these entities are actually children of this guy children of this guy and that's why um, it happened that they all move when I'm moving this guy and one thing I really love about this engine is the fact that my purpose was to make everything be an entity you see the scene itself is an entity um, the skybox behind right behind here is an entity and all of that so that's actually something I really like about this the fact that everything can be an entity and I can actually rearrange the uh, this hierarchy it's not just like I have to have it like static like this I can take this guy and put it in here you see and so if I move this guy you will see the point light will move this is actually a directional light you can see it here with the component but since it has this point light inside when I move the directional light uh, yeah here you see the point light also moves moves with it that's because it has become a child and if I take it out and move this directional light again you see the point light is not getting effect it's not affected anymore it's actually here so that's actually something really nice um, the fact that I can rearrange everything um, yeah this is actually good because sometimes it's hard to move the whole scene sometimes you wanna maybe see the scene in an angle but you have to drag with the mouse which is something you can do without any problem that's working but sometimes you might maybe just wanna rotate the scene uh, rotate everything and see how it's actually working and things like that so that's actually important uh, the scene hierarchy and there is a lot more I can um, let's say I can clone an entity I can clone this point light here for example you see I have now two point light where is that thing yeah here I have now two point light um, what am I doing I picked the, the other guy yeah I have now two point light where is yeah here it is because yeah and you can see this is one and if I change the color to blue for example or let's say take the greenish and I clone this you'll see I have another green uh, point light no no I didn't clone it I click it here yeah I have another point light here so I can clone things and just do it like that um, am I forgetting something and normally yeah I can remove it that's straightforward I shouldn't be something we should worry about but one thing I'm really proud of is the fact that I can move all these things around and you know and it's working without crashing because that's one of the hardest thing to do I'm actually messing around with the thing with this thing and <laughs> whatever okay so that's it about the uh, hierarchy panel and the content panel to be honest I don't have much to show right now um, um, the only thing I can show is that I actually support drag and drop but it's not I'm not using the data right now uh, to do anything you can see here when I drag this guy here I'm gonna get the part of it the path of that file and I could use that to actually deserialize the scene and load a new scene or deserialize and 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 an object a mesh or whatever but there is nothing special about this content panel I'm still gonna be working on that the only thing I did here was to add these folders but these are actually real folders with uh, real files you can see all the textures I have and yeah that's just what I've added here and I do have the component panel uh, yeah 
actually each component here should be uh, something I should spend time and explain how it works and things like that but yeah I just don't want to spend too much time on that I'm just willing to give like an overview of the engine and how things actually work together and all of that so and as you can see here we have all these components um, with this button here where you can reset the value of the component you see for example if I change this and I can simply go out and click on reset and it's gonna reset that the same way I can use this button here to reset each field the x-axis the y-axis but I can use this to reset all we know the transform has a default value and sometimes you want to set that back and it's kind of hard to go on and click this you know these buttons here one by one that's gonna take quite a time that's why you can simply go here and hit reset and everything is gonna be set back to the um, initial value and that's actually good and one thing I love is the fact that this button up here is actually something I can extend the functionality so you can see I have like a model here let me add another let me add like a native script for example this component is a native script it has nothing in it right now but if I click on this button you can see I have a lot more options that I can choose from here that's because I can extend the functionality of this pop-up to show more than I uh, more than I should normally have and you can see when a component is removable then we have this remove button appearing with which I, I can actually take that away but like for the entity info up here and the, the transform you can see we don't have the remove because we don't want anyone to remove those things but I'm actually working on you know um, on, on, on the fact that I don't want all entity to have it a transform because sometimes you can have an entity that only has a script which is going to be running and you don't need to have a transform on that because you're not going to be using that so having uh, the requirement that all entities should have a transform is in term of storage uh, not good because let's say I have 10 entities that are actually not using their transform they're just having like scripts running uh, that's gonna be a lot of memory using uh, used without uh, without any purpose on it that's why I'm gonna be taking away the requirement of the transform component for all entities I'm still working on that because I'm not just building a game engine I'm really building a software for development I'm actually building something that you can use to create engineering simulations uh, game and all kind of things even applications and things like that that's actually my purpose with this because to be honest I don't play games I don't really want to build a game engine to be honest um, and uh, yeah it's but that's because um, using this actually improve my programming skills and uh, actually help me uh, increase my knowledge in terms of programming in C++ and other languages that might be used here so to add a component I can simply click right here and you see the list of component will appear and I will be able to pick which component I want to add you can see I have I'm coming to that in a moment I can add a model here and pick I, I still have to work on the UI with these colors of, of the frames and things I can add a cube let me scale that up oh it's actually a child of this guy oh that's actually bad but whatever I have the cube I can move it here who is actually the child? Ah, this guy is the child. But let me take that out and put it maybe up there. Um, and this cube here is actually a point light. Yeah, it has a spotlight inside. But yeah, I just wanted that cube to be uh, free. So, and you can see, I can actually um, change some properties here to give it like you see the albedo um, stuff like that. The reason why it's actually having this color I think it's because of the spotlight the point light there's a point light somewhere doing I don't know whatever and uh, you can see I can actually make this object um, reflect the scene the ambient occlusion you can see it right here how it actually reflects the scene totally um, yeah because I'm, I'm using image based lighting you can see that here uh, when I rotate it you can see how the the scene is getting reflected because the object is totally reflected it's a metal metallic object and um, yeah whatever 
just wanted to show that um, yeah I have animation uh, I can add a speed increase the speed of animation here you can see how the animation goes quite fast I like the fact that it can go so fast without crashing but I still have some couple of um, difficulties with animation you can see this model right here that I picked from um, I don't max I don't remember the name whatever you can see um, yeah some couple of things are still wrong the entire body is not getting animated I don't know why but this one worked properly this is also something slow motion you can see slow motion here I can even run it in back <laughs> yeah that's because I <laughs> have negative time here and that's why it's going backward but that shouldn't happen normally uh, yeah slow motion yeah you can see the slow motion happening there and then I can go quick yeah uh, which component uh, do I have to show if you guys uh, the directional light yeah you know I do support directional light of course that's why you have all these things being when I increase the strength here and I can rotate it to specify the direction I did have shadow mapping uh, but I removed it I'm gonna be implementing a new version of that because yeah the last one I had was not pleasant so I took it out so that's the directional light and you can see the bloom effect up here but yeah I don't wanna I'm still working on a component I'm still in the component tab um, this video is getting a little bit long but yeah that's basically the component tab you can add a component as much as you want and uh, yeah a lot of things will happen there and here as you probably have already seen we have the mouse picking which is one of the things I'm quite proud of um, yeah to be honest I didn't know how to do this until I watched I watched the video of the channel where he explained how he implemented the mouse picking in his engine so and the idea he's had was quite mind-blowing for me because I didn't know I could do it like that the idea is basically to have like whatever I'm gonna be explaining that in another video but yeah you can still watch his video to understand that and yeah it's quite good it's working and you can see quite properly and it's pixel perfect the thing I, that's the thing I love about it it's, like it's, it's pixel perfect you're not gonna be missing you can see I can even pick this object although it's so small I can still pick it you see that's actually something that I really like yeah I have a lot of material I've been showing all the material of this um, let me increase that of this guy here let me zoom it up yeah that's the reason why you can see I have a lot of tabs here because I passed all the material and I decided to show all of them so I could see what's going on but I you can see I can change the material of some of them I don't know which one is red here but yeah you can see I can change here um, we have a lot of material in that object but yeah that's not important so we have mouse picking um, yeah I can select entity and deselect by uh, right clicking uh, deselect by right clicking because I don't want it when you click and there is nothing selected that the object get deselected because I don't like that you always but sometimes you just want to move the scene and see in another perspective before you move an object that's why I didn't want that when you click in the empty space here then you just deselect the object instead I want you to click right when you want to deselect and you can see when I select an object here there is a reflection here and there is also the reflection here so it's all connected together and this is all tied to my event system um, because yeah having to call function inside of in passing this object that's quite hard that's why when I click here I just post an event and this guy get notified about the index of the ID selected or the I mean about the ID of the entity selected and this guy also received that information and he just uh, gather all the components of that and show the UI here and you see everything is working together just fine you know my purpose is really to build something where you will use and have fun with it and really enjoy using it I don't like it when a software when a software is like lagging you want to drag thing it's slow or things like that I really want I really like it when things work freely and the flow is there and yeah 
you can always get feedback about what is going on when I click on an object I want to know I clicked on that by seeing the component of that object by seeing that object selected in the panel hierarchy because sometimes you will come here and you won't know which entity you want to pick but you actually see that here so instead of searching and seeing uh, it this one is that the one you just come here and you click and then you find it easily that's why I kind of do these things some engine actually don't have that kind of things <sighs> basically that's all I had to share with you guys and um, I hope you guys learned something from this video and then as you can see, as you can see I've been showing everything and it hasn't crashed that's actually good yeah it make me makes me happy to know that my engine can be used properly without crashing every time so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any question any comment anything you want to say please write in the comment section below and give a thumbs up to this video if you get inspired by it if you learn something if you if you were encouraged about something yeah thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video ciao